Um, and this is because the king demanded that all the things that he could see from his castle, Christian's Ball Palace, should be beautiful. But he didn't care about the other side of the building, so in a minute you'll be able to see how it looks uh, quite different. But yes, for many years of his life. Um, he wrote 156 fairy tales for children, um, and here among the Ugly Duckling and the Little Mermaid. I'm sure you know them. We'll be visiting the Little Mermaid later on the tour. If you go inside the new harbor, if you're at the left hand side, you can see the cannon sheds. The cannon sheds were used to store the cannon boats. Copenhagen was in war, they were stored in here. Um, you can see how it, it tilts a little bit from the facility building as we well here. And so they could hold the characters out very quickly in the event of an attack. And the cannon boat. There's also a kind of tradition or, uh, in, uh, in an event in the royal family, like birthdays, wedding anniversary, so when a child is getting bored, and also uh, in, in an event of a death. Of, of death. But uh, every member of the museum there, because it's nice for, for the military stuff. Before that, it wasn't very nice. It was filled with, um, there was a lot of robberies going on, a lot of homeless people here. Um, and then it changed, and now it's one of the most attractive areas in Copenhagen. Uh, and the apartment saying it's a be rather quick with the picture, right? Otherwise you just get a picture of the most photographed tree in front of me here. I hope you also got the <laughs> Now 
12 uur. Het is echt een uurtje aan het boot, hè? Het was toch 11 uur dat hij nog stapt, hè? Ja. Ja. As you can imagine, these boats are made just to get through here. They can't get any wider because of the bridge, and they can't get any longer because of this turn that we are about to make. Thank mm -hmm. you. 